and New Mexico Tech, scientists develop weapon systems and explosives to help keep our country safe. But inside the nearby laboratories, it's just rodent infested. Some are raising serious health concerns. And so I just felt horrible and I couldn't hardly move and I, I felt sick and tired all, all the time. And it's forcing the university to take action. We're doing the best we can with it. It goes back to earlier this year when a chemical engineer, Glenn Ann Johnson, was hired at New Mexico Tech. She was brought on as a lab manager at the Energetic Materials Research and Testing Center, or Emertech for short. I walked into my office that they showed me, and it was covered in rodent feces. And I wouldn't even set my bag down. I, I, I just said, is this really where I'm supposed to sit? Glenn Ann took these pictures, showing mouse droppings and dead rodents on the floor, on her desk, and across the workplace. I I was so embarrassed by the state of those labs that I asked them to clean, I asked them to clean. Finally, I went and bought my own cleaning supplies, my own mouse traps, everything, and I cleaned the lab. Shortly after, Glenn Ann says she started feeling sick. I had a high fever. I got short of breath. I um, couldn't breathe. She went to urgent care and was later tested several times for hantavirus, an infectious disease spread by rodents, which attacks the respiratory system. In extreme cases, it can be fatal. Glenn Ann showed us medical test results, which indicate she was positive for hantavirus, something that has yet to be confirmed by the state health department. She first went to the doctor back in April, and just days before Thanksgiving, Glenn Ann was fired. The university will not comment on why she is no longer employed, but Glenn Ann claims she was wrongfully terminated. My biggest fear is that I will die early and my son won't have someone to support him because of the health-related risk that they have subjected me to. We asked to see inside the lab and the university agreed. But multiple sources within the university tell us that after we made that request, there was a flurry of cleanup at the labs. In fact, some describe it as the most thorough cleanup they've seen in years. We're headed to our chemistry labs. When we gained access to the secure facility, Emertech director Michael Stanley showed us these clean rooms. So this is where we work with chemicals as we're maybe developing new explosives. On this visit, we found no visible trace of a rodent problem. But lab insiders tell Foreign Investigates it's been an ongoing problem for years. Michael Stanley admits it too. Were you aware of those issues? Yes, we were. And it happens all the time, and it has ever since I've been here, since the mid-1980s. And we teach our employees that, hey, if you see something like that, notify your supervisor or the safety office, and they will come and take care of it. But Glenn Ann says the university's response was not enough. I want that whole area to be cleaned up so they can't risk anybody else's family. We try and keep our entire facility clean, but we work out in a rural environment, so it's very difficult to do. Stanley says when Glenn Ann first reported the problem earlier this year, he temporarily shut down the labs. We want to respond. If we see a problem, we want to take care of it and fix it because it's very important to us that everybody go home safely every day. Since then, he's stepped up the cleaning schedule from once a month to once a week. We've had thousands of people come through here over the years, and we have not had anybody report any health issues from visiting. You haven't had anybody report any health issues? Except for one person, yes. That person is Glenn Ann, and while her health remains in question, she still worries about the co-workers and the students she left behind. But it has been one of the most emotionally challenging, difficult situations I have ever had to put myself through. Now, Glenn Ann has since filed a wrongful termination claim, and when I asked the university about that, they told me they could not comment on personnel matters. I'm Nathan O'Neill, Four Investigates.